It's Virtua Tennis 4, and as a general rule, it's Virtua Awesome to see anything with the word Virtua in it from Sega. And I'm Virtua pleased to say that Virtua Tennis 4 is outstanding. And by that I mean Virtua outstanding. For starters, it's a really fun game. That's what Virtua Tennis has always been about. And while there's a ton of features and playable athletes in this game, it's no more complicated than the old school arcade Virtua Tennis. It's very well done in that respect. It's a classy, straightforward game that's easy to pick up and play, but difficult to master. And as you would expect from Sega, there is a terrific arcade mode, which is what we're watching here. In addition to that, there's a party mode, exhibition mode, online gameplay, and a world tour mode, which is like a cross between a board game and Virtua Tennis. It's very cool. Virtua Tennis 4 is also available for the Xbox 360 and works with the Kinect. It's available for the Nintendo Wii. And this is the PlayStation 3 version, which works with the Move. I'll get to that momentarily. Make sure to watch CGR Undertow for the reviews of the other versions. I'm playing here with the standard controller, which works great because it's simple. It's rare to see a controller layout with that few functions on it, but that's all you need to play Virtua Tennis 4. And that's part of why it's so much fun. You just get into position and return the ball, hopefully away from your opponent. Holding down the button will make you swing harder. And as you play, you charge up your power bar or whatever that is and unleash a super shot. Which is not always guaranteed to work. It's an extremely playable game. In no time, you'll be crushing opponents like these ladies here, even if you're a dude. Come on, fellas, these girls could kick your ass. Which is why in the world tour mode, you need to create a player who's a competitor, like Virtua Carnage. Lord Carnage is actually banned from the sport for lighting opponents on fire, but Virtua Carnage is allowed to play. You start off by training inside a pottery barn by smashing plates and work your way through the world tour on what appears to be a Virtua board game. It's kind of confusing at first, but after you get the hang of it, it's really cool. As you gain experience and level your character up, becoming a tennis superstar. It's hard to explain, but you get these bus tickets and move around to different training events or competitions. Or luxury hotels where you can rob the liquor cabinet. Here's a cool training mode where the objective is to hit the ball so hard that your opponent is knocked into one of the fans and blended. Throughout the world tour, you gain fans, meet fans, lose fans by shouting obscenities at the people working at the games, and compete in a variety of matches where you crush your opponents without mercy. When you start, Virtua Carnage has no style. It's not that he has no style, it's that you don't understand his style. Which is the style of having no style. You buy style later, and some new shorts as well as some awesome finishing moves, like the one where you chop off your opponent's head with the tennis racket. Or did I dream that? Speaking of dreams, how about a nightmare? It's the PlayStation Move controller, which once again seems to have taken a backseat to everything. This must be the last thing they put in these games, just so they can have it on the packaging. It's extremely responsive and works quickly, it's like one-to-one, -one, but the camera perspective is all kinds of weird and tears the controls out of the game. It breaks everything that makes Virtua Tennis 4 fun. <laughs> they could have done more with the move controller. That seems to be getting the shaft in a lot of games. But overall, Virtua Tennis 4 is really good. There's a variety of gameplay modes that keep it interesting. You can score points in the arcade mode, play through World Tour, play with your friends, there's a doubles mode. It's a terrific game, even if you're not into tennis. The entire sport ripped off Pong anyway. Wait, didn't tennis? No, Pong shoots first. Oh. 